Native Instruments has just released a new contact library and it's called Playbox. And I must tell you, this thing is amazing. Right now you can get it at an intro price of 25% off, which will put you at $150 up until April 24th. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, at the time of recording this, you have a month to do so and get that price. If you're interested in checking it out, there's an affiliate link in the description below where you guys can go ahead and take advantage of this. Shout out to Mick Benjamins and Native Instruments for sending this over to me and let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so in this video, I am going to go over the basics of what Playbox is and tell you what I think about it, how I've used it so far. I've had it for a few weeks, I believe, and I'm just gonna let you guys know right here, right now, I love it, it's a lot of fun. So as you see, cool little artwork right here. It says, randomize, inspire, play. And pretty much I've used it randomly and it definitely gives you a lot of inspiration. And I can't wait to show you guys. I'm just gonna run through this real quick and I'm just gonna let you guys see what I do with it so far, like a little walkthrough for what I've done and maybe show you guys some beats that I've made with it. So right here, it says a unique combination of handcrafted chords and multi-dimensional sound design. And yeah, they're chords. You could even take the chords out and put them on other instruments. I did all that, it's a lot of fun. Over 200 chord sets give instant harmonic ideas that can be randomized and tweaked. And then right here, start and finish track with over 900 stunning samples or load in sounds from any library. So even with that, like I've started my tracks with this and it helps a lot. Uh, you guys know I like to use things like Output Arcade and this is kind of in that same lane where you have a whole lot of different loops that you could just go through and get inspiration and build on and just make a nice track with. So here's some more information on it. If you guys really want to read up on it, I'll let you guys click that link. As you see right here, this represents the synth, this rep represents the instruments, this represents the bass, this represents voices, noises, and then users, you load in your own stuff. Uh, I haven't done that part yet, but I'm looking to do that in the future. And then here's creative chords, this is what the chord page looks like. And then here's how you could change some of the effects around. Here's a video if you want to walk through and uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and show you guys machine, what it looks like and how I have it set up. All right, so over here, as you see, I have machine open right here and this is Playbox. And this is what it looks like as soon as you load it up. It has a preset already ready to go. This is what it sounds like. And the reason why I had the keyboard up down here is because I wanted to show you guys that if you get this, it is mapped to these keys right here. The ones that are red and you can get that if you don't have it up by just clicking right here in contact and then hitting keyboard so as you see this is the basic layout now first thing i would do is i'll come here hear what that sounds like if i have an idea of what scale or key i want my song to be in i'm gonna go ahead and click right here and change it so right now it sounds like this i'm gonna change it to this And then right there, you could change your octaves. Right here, change from major to minor, minor to major. And then you can also lock it so that way when you switch your presets, you will not lose the settings that you have on there. And then once you, if you want to, you can play with this change the sound up some click this changes everything around completely random don't know what you're gonna get sounds cool but let me change it back to something that I like I kind of like the E minor So outside of that, show you guys some of the presets because you guys know I enjoy using presets. I click right here and as you see, they're all divided. Like this one right here says all, this one says getting started. This says instruments, synths, voices, supernatural. Um, the, my go-to ones are usually instrument and voices because that's what I like. 
And as you see, like there's tons of different presets here. Sorry about the pause there. I was trying to figure out what I did that. Let me put your act this down some so that way we can see everything right here. This is where you can go into your chords, samples, effects. So let me load up one of these. This is what we currently have. Switch it to this one. And see, I like that. And even right here, it says drag your drag and drop your sample onto a cube to import. Like I said, I haven't really messed with that yet, so I'm not going to show that here. What I have messed with is going through the presets and then from there, also taking some of the chords. So let me find something that has some great chords with it that I'd like to show you guys. This sounds like it's going to be good. And as you hear, there's previews, but I double clicked on it. And if you look right here, I'm really just using one key to play those. So what you can do is you can go right here. And as you see, you have chords here. And also have something called piano mode. But what I usually do is I'll just click right here and then drag it over to my machine, piano roll. So let me go ahead and open up the piano roll right there. And of course, this I'm not going to leave this on this contact instrument because if you play it, It's not having the same effect, but what you can do, or what I tend to do, let me close this, is I will go here, get that to go down there, just copy this, go to an empty little layer or sound, go to the keyboard, drop it in, change my pattern back to two, just so that way it won't uh, play all the way out after that. Just find a random instrument and throw it on there. So let me go right here and just find a quick piano because I don't need it to be perfect for this example. Let me see, keys. Sorry, that's so loud. I wasn't expecting it to be that loud. So what I'll do, And that came from this. And then I haven't played with that feature that much. I just used it like that. Uh, aside from that, what you can do as well is go back over here. Well, I guess this isn't what you can do. This is what it shows is uh let's find another preset just to give this example so say you like this one but it's a little too fast slow down your tempo it's synced up and what i did right there was i just clicked another random preset just to see what happens and it changed everything even my scale Now when it comes to the chords, let's change the chords to make them more complex. And even right here you can go through. Hear the difference? Let's go to the effects. Experimental, let's see what I can do with this. Sound like a whole different instrument. You can go to samples, and then right here you could change it. Randomize it. And 
And as you see, these go along with which note you're hitting right here. So right there, here, 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 here. And that's where they're all mapped. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's new. I've had fun with it. I made a few tracks with it. I may play those in a second just so you guys could hear what I've done with it just with no drums or anything like that just might play it by itself and then from there you guys go ahead and check this out if you're interested in it this is just a quick overview of so much more to it like i didn't even go into these different effects right here or how you can change this with the uh the mod wheel on your keyboard all of that stuff so it's tons of things you could do it's a lot of fun get a lot of inspiration from it a lot of things you could do with it as you continue to learn it like i plan on doing I'll probably have some more videos on it coming up soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'm about to show you guys, you know, what I've done with it without the drums. So appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So what you hear right there is a uh, the play box. All of these sounds right here come from the play box. And of course, I threw some effects on the main sound that gives it that little uh, that little uh, that little noise. If I even did that right, when I turn it off, it's just like this. And I'm about to bring it back in. So that does that, and I think that that is awesome. And let me see this other one that I did with it. Now with this beat that I have pulled up now, uh, I made a, I used the loop, put some guitar rig on it, and then I took the chords and threw it on a layer just for the keys, just so that way I could test this out, just to see how it turned out. So this is what this sounds like. I'll start the loop by itself, and then I'll drop in guitar rig, and then I'll drop in the keys with the chords from Playbox, just so that way you guys can hear it. So this is what it sounded like by itself. Now I'm about to add guitar rig. And then here come the keys. And that's it. Those are a few of the beats that I made using uh, Playbox. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Affiliate link in the description. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Take care out there. If you need help using Machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with Machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.